Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in the world of QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to cover a topic called Entering Billing Information. And what that means is when you receive your products from your vendor, you enter some billing information and the magical thing happens. What's that? Well, QuickBooks Accounting automatically creates an open bill under that vendor so you can keep track of which vendors you've paid and all of your accounting transactions for billing uh, are tracked. It's, it's just really great. It's another one of the pieces of the integration between QuickBooks Point of Sale and QuickBooks Accounting. So we're going to go over that real quickly, how you turn it on, how you enter in your stuff, how you can see when it's not entered so you can go back and enter it to make sure that that bill makes it over there. Otherwise, you would be creating and recording all of your vendor expenses like manually by hand. And that's kind of a bother, so this really saves you some time in your bookkeeping. Before we jump into it, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group, a great community where you can ask questions about workflow, training, errors, request a video for this channel, or what have you. People such as me will respond and other community members. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to click on subscribe down below so you can see all the latest, greatest videos coming out on this channel. So, in order to do the billing information in your receiving voucher, first you're going to have to turn the option on. You're going to go to the file menu up here and down to preferences and company. In the preferences area here, we are going to go to receiving and you'll just want to put this simple little check mark right here to enter vendor billing information in point of sale. So, now that you have that turned on, when you go to receive your products, whether it's from a PO or just creating a receiving voucher because they arrived, then you'll see over here that there's a blue button that says billing info. Once we click on that, it wants an invoice number. So this can really just be any sort of reference number. It doesn't exactly have to be the invoice number, but you do have to have something in this field. Some people don't have their invoices right in front of them ready to enter into this field, but maybe they got a packing slip when they opened the box that just arrived. And so the packing slip should have some sort of number on it. It may indeed have the invoice number on it, or it might just have a reference number uh, that correlates with that vendor. So um, in some other videos, I cover some of the bill date, invoice due stuff here, and that helps you to know exactly when this bill is due. But I do want to mention that you probably should not mark this voucher as already paid because then it is no longer something that you can see or track in QuickBooks accounting very easily. It just kind of records an expense or a journal entry. So leave that unchecked. Put in a reference number. Of course, you're going to whoop, do this for a vendor. Do, 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 do. Change it. Yes. Okay. Normally you choose <laughs> the, uh, the vendor before, before you went to the billing info. Did a little backwards there, so got a couple of messages. Um, but yeah, so now you're ready to receive, and this will actually, whatever the costs are for all the products that you're receiving, it'll actually show up as an open bill in QuickBooks Accounting. So that is exactly how you do that, and it's a wonderful feature. Now I'm gonna show you in our receiving history uh, maybe maybe you're looking in QuickBooks accounting and you're like, oh, I don't see an invoice for this. Why does this vendor not have an invoice? Well, if we go into the receiving history, we can see that I've actually only recorded one receiving voucher with an invoice number. And the rest of them are saying needs billing info. So it puts a stop on it. It does not create a bill. It does not create an expense if the billing info, that very important field, is not filled in. And then it'll say this under payment. So if you see one that says needs billing info, and that's the reason why it's not made it to QuickBooks Accounting yet, that's fine. You've already saved it, but you can actually update that information. If you highlight it there, you can go on the I want to menu and hit enter billing info, and it'll come up with the exact same screen and then you can go ahead and enter that in. Now you can see that the invoice has a number, it has a reference number, and it's ready to send to QuickBooks Accounting. 
You can easily go on the financial menu and hit update QuickBooks desktop and that bill will magically appear. Thank you. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business, and this has been a wonderful journey in entering billing info and automatically creating bills from QuickBooks Accounting. Don't forget to leave a comment or question down below. I'll be sure to respond to you. But otherwise, you have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye. And then he fell in love with the piano. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you can't keep a good composer down. <laughs> <laughs>